Olivia wakes up about half past six, seven o'clock and she will have her milk. We give her the hip organic milk and she has about seven ounces. Sometimes she takes the whole bottle, sometimes she leaves a little bit. This morning she actually only took about six ounces. About eight o'clock Olivia will have a breakfast. So this morning I'm just peeling up an apple and chopping it into pieces. Then I'm gonna put this in my steamer. Once it's done, I flip it over and blend it up to turn it into a puree. Then Olivia is having ready bread this morning. I normally put in about two to three tablespoons of the porridge and I just mix that with some water and the puree apple. I use different fruits so she gets different tastes each day. But she really loves this and as you can see she can't wait to get some and she normally finishes the whole bowl. I like Olivia to have a little bit of finger food as well. So after her breakfast, she's just having a couple of raspberries. I normally just rip these up into smaller pieces for her. She can eat these quite well and a lot of the time she can pick them up herself. I find that this is really good for like their fine motor skills, but it does get a little bit messy and I do help her out a little bit when she gets stuck. <laughs> For lunch, Olivia's going to have avocado and banana. I've used about half of the banana and half the avocado and I'm just going to mash it together. Olivia really enjoyed this one. She actually ate nearly all of it. But obviously with the avocado in there, it's got some really good healthy fats which helps keep her feeling full up. And then I'm just gonna let Olivia have some of these Ella's Kitchen Melty Puff. She really likes these, they're so easy for her to hold. It's just that little bit of finger food again. And I find because these take her a little while to eat, it just gives her that time for her lunch to go down before she's crawling around the place again. <laughs> About one o'clock, Olivia will have another bottle. She has seven ounces, but as you can see, I've only actually added three ounces of boiling hot fresh water. And then I add her seven scoops of milk. I do this because I found a way to make the perfect temperature bottle. So once I've done this, I mix it up to kill all the bacteria in the formula. And then I've got a freshly boiled cold water that I keep in the fridge and I top my bottle up with that. This just makes it the perfect temperature and then I make a fresh one to put back in the fridge for my next bottle. And then we just have a little cuddle on the sofa and Olivia normally takes all of this bottle. Then for dinner, Olivia is going to have some cauliflower cheese. So I've just put some cauliflower in my steamer and then I'm making a cheese sauce. This is the sauce that is from the Annabelle Carmel's book. And then I just blend it all together and I've made enough here for a couple of other meals as well. So Olivia's just gonna have some of the cauliflower cheese with some thin toast fingers that I've made. I've put a tiny, tiny little bit of butter on this, but she absolutely loves this toast. She normally eats a little bit of dinner and then a little bit of toast, a little bit of dinner, a little bit of toast, and that's how we end up eating our evening meal. Although she hasn't got any tea, she manages to eat this really well and she actually ate all the toast. I forgot to say earlier, with every meal, I also offer Olivia a little bit of water. We use this Dr. Brown's little sippy cup and she seems to drink quite well from it. But now she's over six months, she can actually have water straight from the tap, which makes life a lot easier. Um, and she also tries to pick this little cup up herself. For a dessert, she's gonna have this Ella's Kitchen red one. This is just a fruit pouch. There's all different fruit in there and no other nasties or other stuff. This was left over from yesterday, so there was only about half in the packet, but you can keep these in the fridge for 24 hours after they've been opened. Then at seven o'clock, Olivia will have her last bottle. She has seven ounces again. I've taken Ralph trick-or-treating, so Daddy gets to feed Olivia tonight. Sorry, it's a no makeup day today, but that is what Olivia eats in a day. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below and then I could maybe make this like a regular thing to do. But I'd also love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. But thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off.